cheers to a new week hope you're all doing good it is glossy box time oh my god can we take a minute for that gorgeous packaging so i went to home bargains this is what i got i've made a total of 79p how is that even possible so i got coffee wow oh my god chocolate chip cookie or oh, what it's just gonna be weird like spending quality time on my own i'm so done with this like i've made no money oh my god is it not just the best day ever when you receive a zara parcel this is so exciting um oh my god i've put friggin laundry in the background just moved that out of the way hello and welcome welcome to a new weekly vlog literally you've caught me tuesday morning non-moisturized face just made a coffee, first coffee of the day. Ooh, did my nails at the weekend. I've shown you them on my coffee cup. Did them, oh my God, that one's chipped. Oh my freaking God, that one's chipped. I'll show you on this hand. Um, Did them grey and a little sparkly silver one. Love those. Happy new week. Hope you've all had a fabulous bank holiday weekend. It will be the weekend after actually by the time you're watching this. So I hope you're all having a good weekend. I've got a four day week this week, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. I'm sure many of you will be the same. I had the most chilled bank holiday weekend ever. I went to the Lake District one of the days, which was really, really nice, but it wasn't our usual um, like Lake District trip really we actually went and just like chilled out and we got like fish and chips we had a nice walk around the town we had a little look in some shops and it was just like a really really cute day and we didn't do a hike basically which we always normally do so um cheers to a new week hope you're all doing good because i had a pretty chilled weekend i i'm actually feeling quite chilled out today i'm feeling quite relaxed ready for one of my last working weeks in my current job um very stingy on the old eye plumping cream aren't I? I oh my god I saw that Garnier have brought out new sheet masks and I honestly just cannot wait to try them I feel like making a whole bloody video trying the sheet masks somebody sent me an Instagram message saying like oh my god they're bringing out new sheet masks and I know how much you love them and I was like oh my god I need to get to boots like straight away and get some so I feel like I need to do that this week I've also still not been to Primark I've been saying for like three weeks like oh I need to go to Primark and I've still not been so I feel like this week might be the week. Coffee is sweet, coffee is fine. I wanna make you man oh man. Oh my God, so we watched that Netflix documentary yesterday about um, the college admission scandal in America. I mean, I've wanted to watch it for a while since it came out to be honest, but oh my bloody God, it was so crazy. Like the amount of corrupt parents and college shooters there is out there is just crazy. If you're not really aware of what it is, basically rich American parents will bribe college tutors to get into these like amazing colleges like universities basically in america and oh my god the amount of money people would give them to get them a place was crazy and the whole thing was just so corrupt and weird and like it just makes me feel really sad because i feel like that's probably going on in england and we were talking about that like saying how it's probably going on everywhere but there's just not like been much um, news about it and it's probably not come out yet like probably something like this will happen in England and there'll be some person out there like getting people into universities with bribes which is just so sad like I remember how pressurized I used to feel at school to go to university let alone a really really good one and then to be fighting against people who literally just had loads of money and would pay to get in literally just makes me feel so sick so oh my god I've not like thought about school and university for such a long time it's something that I used to think about a lot I've not really thought about it for a while. I think I'm actually turning into an adult. How weird. Um, anyway, I just wanted to hop on here and start the vlog. Brush my eyebrows. <laughs> Brush my eyebrows through. I, oh my bloody God, I've not even shared it. Started the new book club book last night. I am, well, I'm only like a couple of pages in, so I can't really say if I'm going to like it or not, but I think it's going to be quite good. Obviously finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo last week, which was just amazing. I love it when I finish a good book and I feel like it is probably about time I filmed my six month roundup i know it's not been six months into the year yet but i think i've read six books so far this year because i think i read two in january so i'm probably going to do a book review and recommendations video very very soon but without further ado don't know what i just did with my hands there without further ado let's get on with the weekly i hope you enjoy this video i'll love you and leave you speak to you soon it is that time of the day where we skincare i'm going to be using these three products i have literally been loving this by the way i got it as a little treat the other week i think i ordered it from 
feel unique actually. It's the Pixi Rose Tonic and I've used quite a bit actually. It's really really nice. I tend to put a bit of this on before bed after I put my micellar water on and I don't know it just makes my skin feel like really really soft so I really like it. I'm going to be cleansing with this which is the Clinique take the day off. I think I'm also going to put a bit of this mask on which is the Glossier Mega Greens Galaxy Mask. So let's do it. I am watching Glow Up. Glow Up, if you don't already know, is a makeup competition. Basically really talented makeup artists go onto the show and do amazing makeup looks and battle it out to win like a proper makeup contract and it's amazing. I absolutely loved series one and series two. Series three is being released week by week on BBC iPlayer so I'm watching it and I'm loving my little life so I'm just gonna chill, have my little face mask on, watch Glow Up. This is what you call a great Tuesday night. Good morning. This is the current situation. Uh, mind all the washing and the mess on the side, but I've got my ring light up for the first time in months and months. I've not actually stood here and done like a try on haul in such a long time. So I've got all my clothes on the bed ready to film. I'm going to be filming the monkey haul that I said I was going to film last week, but then I didn't get around to it. I'm really excited to film actually, but my hair is looking a little bit worse for wear this morning. Um, I tied it up in a little ponytail to try make it look better than what it actually looks but I don't know I might leave it down who knows um, it's just looking so long right now I actually spoke to somebody yesterday and they were like oh you know don't forget to get your patch test for when you get for when you get your blonde highlights and I was like oh my god totally forgot I completely forgot that you needed to get like a patch test if you get your hair bleached again so at some point I think probably next week I'll go and get a patch test done probably Monday because I'm getting my hair done next Saturday still got like two weeks left so I don't even know how I'm doing it I literally don't know how I've lasted since like November through to May not having my hair done. Um I deserve a little badge I think. This video that I'm going to film now will probably be live on my channel by the time you're watching this vlog so if you've not already watched it go ahead and watch it if you want to you know you can go and give it a little watch if you want. It's actually a glorious day outside today the sun is shining um, you can probably see in my room because it's like super bright but yeah gonna get filming um, and I will catch you guys after. So I've just finished filming um, this is the process of um, packing away my camera. I'm actually, since like tried about it yesterday, I'm actually desperate to film a book review video for the books that I've read so far this year. But I think I'm going to need to charge my camera first because I rambled in that video that I've just filmed. I was honestly talking so, so much. Oh, I was honestly talking so, so much. So I'm going to need to charge my battery and also probably charge my own batteries because once I start talking I just can't stop. Sorry guys you just cut out because my tripod is honestly so so bad for this camera it's it's really getting a bit of a joke now I think I just need a new tripod. I have been eyeing up the gorilla tripods for quite some time so I think I might just have to make the bold move and just purchase one they're like 50 quid i think so a little bit of a spenny purchase but i just need one this camera tripod is so bad so anyway um, i'm gonna pack away my lighting and pack away my camera and everything and then i'm gonna get on with editing this video look what just arrived it's that time of the month it is glossy box time oh my god can we take a minute for that gorgeous packaging oh my god this is so exciting Oh, it says, let the sun shine, let the sun shine, baby. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. We're getting an eye mask. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's have a look in this gorgeous summery box. Oh, my God. It's so nice. Okay, so I'm going to take a seat and, like, do a proper little haul for you. So this is the first thing. Dragon's Blood Eye Masks. Oh, my God. It says these are worth £6. How lovely. This is the next thing. Wow. This is lemon shower gel. That sounds interesting. I'm just going to give it a little smell and see what it smells of. Oh my god, it literally smells like sherbet lemon. Oh, that is so gorgeous. This is the next thing. This is moisturising after sun gel. Oh my god, I totally, totally needed that. <laughs> this is worth £13.35 and the full size is worth £28.60. It is from Mind Tan. Ooh, I cannot wait to try that. It looks so good. This is the next little thing, Lottie London. This is, I am guessing... 
a little lip balm. Oh, power foil. I may be wrong. It's an eyeshadow. It's a metallic eyeshadow. That looks a really nice colour as well. Beautiful. And then this is the last thing. This is a eyeliner. I'm going to open this up and have a little look inside and see what the colour is. Oh, wow. It's like this lovely, lovely gold colour. That's so gorgeous. What a lovely little summery box this month. I honestly cannot wait to try that. Oh, my God. It looks so nice. Love that. There's like loads and loads of stuff in there that I literally would choose myself like I would definitely choose that scent I obviously love an eye mask after sun gel and it's a little mini as well that'll be so so good for camping yay so I went to home bargains this is what I got stationery I honestly cannot recommend home bargains enough for stationery um I actually ended up only buying one notepad though which was this one this is 200 pages Wind. I'm so sorry guys the camera just got out but what was I saying back onto this notepad yeah this was literally like under two pounds and when I looked on Amazon for a pack of three A4 notepads it was literally like 12 quid so much cheaper in home bargains I also picked up these really really cute little notepads with letters on so I got a H for Heather which is my mum's name so I'm gonna give that to my mum now and then I also saw a C which is my best friend's that's what my best friend's name starts with. So I got her one as well. Um, there wasn't actually an L, but I have got one from a while ago that my mum picked me up ages ago with an L on it. So that's fine. I also picked up these pens. There's an orange and a blue. Um, they look like they're in like Japanese or something. Bit weird. But yeah, they were literally like 40p. I love like different coloured pens for writing to-do lists. I'm just such a saddo like that. And then I also got a little micellar water as well because I really needed another little one. I, I actually got one last week from Asda, but... I needed another one anyway, so yeah. Oh, I also figured out in very boring news that it did used to be a hundred mil of these for a quid, and now it's 125 mil. So small wins of the day. So yeah, picked up another one of those, and altogether that was literally under a fiver. So <laughs> it was just like, oh my god, it's so cheap in here. It's so good. So yeah, I'm gonna give this little notepad to my mum. Um, love that colour. So I will catch up with you guys probably tomorrow now. Guys, I got my first sale on Vinted. In here is a little t-shirt. I'm obviously going to turn it around and show you the address, but I managed to get my first sale on a t-shirt. Hi, I'm editing this vlog and I realised that I didn't actually explain in the vlog that I'm selling my clothes. I'm sure I definitely filmed a section talking about it but i can't find the footage anyway so basically i'm selling some clothes over on vinted if you don't already know it's basically like depot you sell your old clothes on there or clothes that you don't want anymore and yeah i set up an account i've got quite a few bits on there i've got about 15 items on at the minute and this is when i got my first sale um and you will see how disappointing it is but yeah, anyway, just thought I would come in and tell you guys that when I'm talking about Vinted and I'm so excited, it's because I literally just set it up last week, a bit last minute, just because I've wanted to like sell my clothes for ages. And yeah, I might make like a whole video on it and how I'm going to sell my clothes and do like a full wardrobe clear out and stuff. But anyway, yeah, that's by the by. Hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. Right, I'll leave you now. Bye. I've made a total of 79p. How is that even possible? Basically, I will like chat to you guys about it later on, but like you put in the size of the parcel that you think it's gonna be, and then Vinted will charge you, say for like a medium parcel, which this one is. It says that a medium parcel is 199, and then when you actually go onto the Rollmo website, it's three quid. So this t-shirt that I've sold for literally like one pound eighty, I've made like 79p on because they pay like 199 postage, so they actually don't pay enough postage, which is just crazy, and it like it's totally thrown me off so i'm obviously still gonna send the t-shirt out and make the 79p which is just shocking but like yeah i don't know i mean i'm obviously a beginner and i'm just gonna get used to it and i want to like get up my five star reviews so obviously it's like totally fine i'm not too bothered but like i've literally made like nothing on a t-shirt so i feel like it's going to be a bit of a charity bag situation if it does carry on like not really making me any money because i kind of i don't know like it's a lot of effort to like do it and actually sell your clothes so if you're not going to make a decent amount even a fiver would have been better than that so anyway yeah i'm going to take this to the post office and then i'm going to go get a coffee it's iced coffee time i'm going to go to the same place i went to last week when i got that amazing bagel with the mozzarella in it because it was just insane plus it's supporting local businesses you know so i'm gonna go get an iced coffee listen to a bit of pulse one on the way you know so i got coffee wow meow i actually ended up going to a coffee shop a little bit further from home reason being i got lost so let's do a little taste test wow that is so good just what your gal needed i also got some little sweet treats as well oh my god 
chocolate chip cookie or what? It smells so good as well. It literally smells like it's just been baked, which is just the best. And then I also got this blonde, which it didn't say it was a flavour or anything. It definitely, oh my god, it's dripping everywhere. It definitely looks like it's got jam in it or something. Um, but oh, it smells amazing as well. I absolutely love blondies. So I will keep those. I will try and resist like eating them till tonight when I see my boyfriend, because I have no doubt we will. <clears throat> oh my god, my voice. I have no doubt we will share those. I, I don't know about you, but I always feel like if I go out and get like nice stuff to eat i just want to share it with someone i do like my own company and everything but i do also like sharing my life and like things that i enjoy with other people i just find it really hard to like keep stuff to myself which is probably why i do this and like talk to you guys all the time because i just like having someone to talk to and having someone to be like oh my god do you like this and then being like yeah or no yeah i think that's something where everyone's different and like some people are really good at being on their own and like are not bothered about sharing life experiences with other people which is completely fair enough but i'm just not like that and i like sharing stuff with other people so i've got a little bit of time coming off coming off coming up that i'm off like i've not really got any commitments i've not got any work commitments coming up or anything like it's the little gap between this job and my new job and like really excited for it like i am genuinely like absolutely buzzing that i'm not gonna like have any work to do or anything but equally like i'm a little bit like i don't know if nervous is the right word but like i feel like i've never really changed jobs since working full-time and i feel like giving myself a little little break to like wind down from this job and to like get mentally prepared for another one is definitely the right thing to do like i've spoke to so many people about it but i don't know like it's just going to be weird like spending quality time on my own because it's just something i've never really had like i never went to uni and had like study hours on my own or anything like that like i've always been at work doing stuff being busy like i've always had so much on so not that i'm gonna have nothing on because i was speaking to my management the other day and i was like look i've got like a little bit of time coming off come and we're gonna keep saying that i've got a little bit of time coming up so like anything would be much appreciated because i've actually got time to do stuff which is just so rare because normally i'm like oh, i'll squeeze it in on a weekend or whatever yeah it's just gonna be really nice to chill out a little bit i've booked in i think i mentioned it on last week's weekly actually but i booked in to get my nails done and some nail art which i'm so excited for because these nails that i did this one has fallen off and then a few have chipped which doesn't look the best but i've been looking for some nice nail art like inspiration to to take with me so they can like copy it so that's next week um i actually finished my job next week as well which is just crazy yeah i am really excited for like this month coming up i've got so much exciting stuff planned but it's just gonna be weird like having quality time on my own i'm gonna do so much reading and yeah it's gonna be really good it's gonna be really good but anyway i better make tracks and make a move back home um i've got like a meeting this afternoon handing over all of my work to the team because obviously i'm not gonna be there um which feels so weird like i'm quite a precious person in not a weird way but like projects that i do like I absolutely just treasure them so like I do like works Instagram for example and I'm gonna really struggle handing that over to somebody else because I just love doing it and also I'm like nervous about what someone else is gonna do with it because I'm like oh my god like are they gonna love it as much as me like it's gonna be so weird not not doing that anymore so yeah it's like i don't know it's like my little baby and i'm handing it over to somebody else but i'm doing it for the right reasons i'm doing it because i've got a new job and i'm really excited but it's still gonna be weird so that's like happening this afternoon so yeah i'm like a little bit nervous for that as well actually um it's something that i don't really talk about much on my vlogs like what i'm actually doing at work and stuff and i never talk about like meetings or work trips and stuff but obviously now i'm leaving the job i can kind of share a little bit of what i did and obviously i won't go into detail but like i feel comfortable saying like this afternoon i've got a meeting whereas before i probably wouldn't have i don't know like i tried to keep the two like so separate so i've got to meet this afternoon <laughs> yeah anyway oh my god i feel like we just went into a bit of a deep chat there see this is the issue like me being on my own like i just talk and talk and talk even to myself when i don't have the vlog camera in front of me right i will love you and leave you i will make tracks back home and and i will see you when i get there oh i didn't actually get a chance um ultimate like fail i didn't actually get a chance to post off the vintage parcel because the post office was shut went to two different post offices post offices and they were both shut so that's been my little disaster of the day so apparently it does like weird opening times and they open like four till eight tonight which is just so 
bloody weird. So I'm gonna go there again later on and try post the parcel. I'm so done with this, like I've made no money and I am spending all of my day trying to go to post offices to post the bloody parcel. So wish me the best of luck with that. I'm sure I'll speak to you guys before then anyway, but yeah, what a bloody disaster. Right, wish me the best of luck reversing out of this horrendous car parking spot. Oh my God, is it not just the best day ever when you receive a Zara parcel? I don't think I've ever done a Zara haul. Maybe I did when I like first started YouTube, but ordered a bunch of clothes from Zara. I actually only ordered them like two days ago and they've already arrived, so love that for me. In fact, let's just open them right now. Let's do a little haul while we're here. Why the hell not? I actually, you'll be so proud of me for spending all my money, but I actually ordered a brand new tripod for my vlog camera yesterday. I also ordered, which I totally didn't need. Oh, you see, this is why I've ordered a new one because it's just absolutely atrocious. But basically I ordered a tripod for my camera. This is all from Amazon, by the way. A tripod for my camera, a bottle of slow gin. Slow gin is literally my ultimate favorite. I absolutely love it. It's my like go-to gin flavor. If in doubt, get me slow gin, you know? It's probably, you see, my tripod is just falling all over the place. My favorite gin is like standard gin at the minute anyway, or slow if it's gonna be a flavor. So yeah, I ordered some slow gin. That's why it was so random. And then I also ordered a book called Love After Love, which I've seen a few people talking about on Instagram. And also one of you guys messaged me on Instagram. Completely forgotten the beautiful girl's name. I'm gonna have to have a look. Um, but I ordered that book as well because she recommended it to me personally. And I love ordering books that you guys like actually recommend me. It's time for a Zara haul. This is so exciting. Literally, like I said, I've not ordered Zara in such a long time. Didn't realize it got packaged like this. Oh my god, is that not just the summeriest colour scheme? I feel like I want to try everything on right now. Oh my god, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh my god, I just want to try everything on right now. Oh my god, look at that dress. I definitely need to lose about five stone to fit in that. Loved that like detailing on the different straps, like how that's two strap and the one strap. Hey man, do you do one strap or two strap? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Look at these jeans. Oh my goodness. How gorgeous are they? They are wide leg style and oh my god, the most gorgeous pattern in the entire world. I also picked up this little tie dye top. That's so cute, isn't it? I feel like I want to try everything on. Right, I'm gonna super, super quick put on a strapless bra. <laughs> I feel like I need a strapless bra on with all those clothes. And then let's do a little try on haul. Let's do a try on session. Okay, so this is the first little dress. I'll try and move back so you can kind of see. Oh my God, I literally love it so much. So I actually loved it so much. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna film a little reel on my phone. So that is currently why like, I've got my phone in my hand. I absolutely adore this. It does fall a little bit low, but I feel like maybe if you took this like on holiday and you had your little bikini on underneath, that would totally work. Um, I'm trying to find the label so I can tell you how big it is. I found it, there we go. This is in a size small. It's meant to be that oversized vibe. So it's kind of reminding me of like a shirt t-shirt dress you know like an oversized just like a really cool oversized piece and i love the like pattern on it i think it's so i don't know it's kind of giving me italy vibes and i am living for it i'm living for it oh my god it's got pockets <gasps> love that yes oh my god look at these jeans i feel like i need to get you and show you in my like mirror in my room because you can't see them full length but oh my god they literally fit a dream as well. I think they're in a size 10. Yeah, they are size 10 and they literally fit a dream. Oh my God, honestly, the fit is so literally like perfect length as well. This is a little t-shirt that I paired with it, by the way. It's from Primark like a few years ago. I just thought like the bright colors went really well together and yeah, I'm in love with this outfit. So cute. Imagine like a cute little bucket hat as well. <gasps> literally love it. Oh my God, in love. So this is the next little dress. I thought I would show you the little straps before putting this over the top i thought it would just look really really cool with like a little jumper over the top literally love it it comes to my knees if i show you there we go it's very skin tight i don't know how i'd feel about this being like so bodycon but the actual dress is really gorgeous and i do love the color as well loving the green vibes so this is the cute little top. I just paired it with a little silky skirt, which, oh my giddy little Anne, I like pulled it the other day when I went out. Can you see? 
which I'm so gutted about because this cost me like 30 quid and I ordered it and I absolutely like I've wanted one of these for so long I ordered it from ASOS paid like 30 quid and then I saw someone put on Instagram that they'd got one literally the exact same for like nine pounds or something ridiculous from Asda and I was like oh my god I'm so gutted and then I went and pulled it so that's my sad story of the day but anyway yeah this is the tie-dye top I do like it but it does go like a little bit low there if that makes sense like I don't like that bit of my arm like I don't know what it is and I know I shouldn't be like that because you should just be grateful for your body but don't love that bit of my arm so I don't I don't know if I love it but um I absolutely love the oh my god I just touched my own breasts I absolutely love the like tie-dye pattern and I love the color like baby blue is literally one of my favorite colors to wear so I do kind of love it but I don't know if I'll be able to cope with this but um yeah really cute so impressed with like everything that I ordered again like oh my god was that only that was only 15 quid that dress that's so good I feel like Zara is sometimes like really affordable and you can get some absolute steals in there oh I am absolutely in love with this dress I mean love it to pieces um look at the state of my room by the way um can we take a minute for my room because I mean it's just a joke in here so messy I just filmed the little haul um like here for a reel on Instagram so I feel like I just have completely messed up my entire room like mess wise so i've actually finished work now by the way i don't think i mentioned it but i love like after work tidying up yes love that for me so i better like sort out my room hadn't i better sort it out i don't know why my voice sounded like proper posh then not that posh i promise but anyway yeah i will love you and leave you for today i will speak to you tomorrow and hopefully fingers crossed my amazon parcel has arrived also fingers crossed when i go to the post office in a bit it's actually open and i can actually get rid of this vintage parcel because it's doing my head in but yeah right i'll speak to you tomorrow yes the amazon stuff arrived my gin's not arrived yet though by the way got a little tripod this is the one that i went for it's by this brand that i'm not even gonna try and pronounce but yeah just so much better than my last one i will just get my last one and show you it this is the one that i was using before and i'm not joking you like literally it would be so so rubbish at actually staying up and like sometimes like this would happen and it was like why why is this my life i was so tempted to get another one of these like flexible leg ones where you can actually move the legs and position them how you want but i got so sick of the actual legs falling off that i just thought you know what i want a proper stable one so i'm gonna attach this to my vlog camera in just a minute and then i also went for this book um it's called love after love i think i mentioned it earlier but i actually messaged the girl who originally recommended it to me and um said oh my god like i got this because of you so yeah i'm just gonna add this to my bookshelf because obviously I'm, I'm reading the thursday murder club at the minute which is the book club book but i just wanted this one on my shelf so yeah i wanted to get up to that 20 pound delivery cost you know hello and good morning it's friday it's friday it's saturday sunday what um literally hate that song don't know why i'm singing it but oh you can see my little baby angel here literally cannot get over this dress um i immediately put that reel up that i filmed last night immediately put it up and so many people were like oh my bloody god i'm in love with that lemon dress and i was like yeah i'm in love as well girl little bit of an update on the whole post office situation you will not believe what went on so basically right in where i live there is i don't know if it's like this everywhere but there is like a post office which is like your, your general post office like where you do your post office kind of stuff and then there's also like a separate building where you pick up parcels now i did not click this and i've only ever been to the place where you pick up parcels didn't really think too much into it to be honest so yesterday when i went and it was shut shut i went to the place where you pick up parcels i found this out because my mum was like where did you go and i explained and she was like you went to like the warehouse where you pick up parcels and i was like yeah like really weird opening times and she was like bloody hell you've not been to the post office the post office is like in the town center so i'm like oh my god I, it's just me being an idiot so yesterday when i had like a complete couple full with the whole parcel situation it could have been really really simple i could have just gone to the post office like the normal post office on the high street i'm gonna go back today and actually get rid of the parcel and i say get rid of rather than post beautifully because i am bloody sick of having that bloody t-shirt in my car so anyway oh my god love the setup here by the way it feels like really nice lighting don't know if any of you think the same but um yeah maybe it's like a bit of a vlogger thing to like be like mm, 
lighting the lighting's so good oh my god my fringe is honestly like i cannot this time next week i will be over the moon because i will be going for my hair appointment on the saturday in fact oh my god it's like a week and a day a week and a day i'll be getting my hair done and she will she will sort this out she will i mean it's not that bad but the fringe is bad i mean the fringe the fringe is really freaking bad but yeah so she's sorting out next week thank god i got the most gorgeous parcels yesterday i can actually show you both sides of these parcels because they've not got my dress on so i can actually just show you so basically i will just show you up close i got two amazing parcels from this gorgeous girl who basically in where i live in where i live in where i live this girl has set up her own business it's a clothing business but the actual price of the clothes are like super cheap and when i say super cheap i mean like really affordable she basically got in touch and was like can i send you a few bits and because she lives close and she's a local gal she just dropped them off last night so i actually have a bunch of clothes i thought i would be waiting for some time but actually obviously because she lives close she could just drop them off so I didn't know whether to do like a full on haul kind of thing in a separate video but there is actually one piece that I'm changing the size of because it's it's so big for me like honestly I got a size 12 and usually I'm a size 10 but it just looks absolutely massive so I've just asked her if we can change that. I've said I'll do like a designated um, reel on Instagram for her because my reels like they tend to do quite well on Instagram ish they get like 2000 views normally so i just like i really want her to do really well so i was like that would be the best course of action because sometimes like my hauls on youtube sometimes they do like amazing and sometimes they do like okay and I, I want her to get like the publicity that she deserves so yeah i said i'd do it on instagram but because i'm doing a reel i'm literally gonna have to try each piece on and i want to style it and everything so i just i don't want to style it and it look oversized and then swap it after i filmed if that makes sense like i'd rather just have it all ready and look good um cat cut with that like thick bit of hair in the middle there don't know if it's doing your head in, but it's doing my bloody head in. Yeah, so I just want it all to be like perfect before I film. Right, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, and I will just show you guys what I got. So she actually was, oh my God, she's such a kind and generous person. I cannot even begin to explain. So this is what the little bag looks like that I chose. In this like croc material, she had four different colors, but I went for this dark green. I absolutely love it to pieces. I feel like it's gonna be better when I actually have stuff to put in it because it will like kind of bulk it out a little bit but yeah i'm in love with the color i don't actually have a little cute bag like this um i feel like it'll be really really good for going out for drinks and stuff and like little meals because at the minute i'm using well i say at the minute the time that i went out since we've been allowed i used an old like black primark bag and it just wasn't a vibe so this will look really cute oh my god would it look cute with that oh my giddy little Anne, it actually would <gasps> wow oh my god am i or am i not a style hero style hero <laughs> that reminds me i actually watched kick-ass 2 the other day it was really really good i love kick-ass i think it's a really good film the website is mainly clothing to be honest but she has got a few bits of jewelry in there um so she got me let me just open up the packaging so this is the first little necklace it's like a little padlock super cute i love like the chain the chain going around i think it's really really nice really really nice this is the other one that she sent me kind of similar this one's got like a lock and a key but it's a little bit smaller i think it's called mini i think this is like the mini version of it so yeah absolutely love those i love a nice gold necklace i've got to say this is the next thing this is a really cute cozy hoodie in black i'm pretty sure she had this in another color as well it might have been white but it says los angeles 1984 to be honest it does look a little bit short on the body but i feel like that would actually work because you could tuck it into whatever you've got on your bottom half i feel like i don't know why i'm feeling this but it would actually look really really cute with like my black silk skirt that i've got i don't actually know if it's silk it might be satin but one of the nice materials anyway i'm gonna have a real like experiment with how i'm gonna style stuff so i've got something on my camera screen oh there we go yeah so that was the hoodie these are some leggings that i chose as well again she had these in a few different colors but i went for black because i actually don't have any nice black leggings to wear so they're like this ribbed material if you can kind of see in the camera i can't actually see what you can see to be honest there we go proper ribbed material they are very stretchy which i'm glad about because they do look quite small like the waist is tiny but they are super elasticated and i feel like with leggings sometimes they do look a bit small and then when you actually get them on they fit fine so i'm sure they will fit 
fine i've not actually tried any of this stuff on so that's why i'm kind of guessing and stuff because i wanted to do do like a proper try on reel so anyway the next thing is this dress oh my gosh you guys are literally gonna die and go to heaven when you see this it's so beautiful it's this little milkmaid dress how adorable is that i absolutely love the top half because it's that square neck that i'm literally in love with love 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 the pattern i think it's so so cute it kind of rouges in the middle if that's the right word and yeah gorgeous colors absolutely loved that i was like oh my god i think she she was almost sold out of this i think because i wanted a size 10 but she only had a size 8 left so that's size 8 but it actually looks it actually looks fine like i'm not usually size 8 but that looks absolutely fine this is the next little thing that i chose it's like a windproof jacket that's what it was called on the website kind of reminds me of a bomber jacket to be honest it's in a black color because i thought that would go with quite a lot like a nice maxi dress with that like chucked over the top it's a look it's a look love it very excited to try that one on and like i feel like with a black easy to wear coat it's just like the easiest thing to style so yeah i really really like that and then the last thing i think this is the last thing anyway is this little cheesecloth two-piece set i'm sure it was called i only ordered these yesterday you see so that's why i can remember what they're all called but these are the shorts they look a little bit small but again they're quite elasticated so i'm sure they'll be fine and i absolutely love this material it's super like soft and i imagine it to be really comfy but obviously i will be the judge of that when i try stuff on they're the shorts and then to go with those is this kind of like shirt kind of me like a beach vibes shirt it's just this black shirt that looks like this totally not showing it off very well but it's quite oversized it's got a nice collar i feel like this would just be the perfect thing to just chuck on over the top of an outfit with some like maybe nice white shorts oh yeah love that love it love it love it so they had that in cream as well i think so you could obviously choose whatever color you like that was everything that she sent me she was so so generous she sent me so much lovely stuff i'm honestly so grateful so yeah i'm gonna get style and everything and then the thing that i ordered that was a bit oversized i will leave that for the reel so you guys can watch the reel on instagram if you want to see what the other missing item was that was today's mini little haul i actually looked through those pieces last night when she dropped them off but it was later on and i'd finished the daily vlog like i'd finished the vlog for the day so so usually with a weekly vlog i will kind of edit a bit as i go along so like maybe half an hour after work or like in the evening i will do like a little stint of editing and then i'm just up to date with the weekly this week i've not done one single bit of editing along the way i don't even know why like i've not been more busy than usual i've probably been less busy than usual to be honest to be honest like the last two nights i've had like this really bad headache and i've like not been in the mood to sit and edit and like stare at a screen for longer than what i have to at work so yeah i've had quite the headache so maybe that's why um but anyway yeah i'm gonna get editing this because i literally have no idea how long it's gonna be so it's probably going to be really long and really chatty because that's just me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. If you did enjoy this week's vlog, be sure to like it, subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week for a brand new vlog. Bye!